The smart metering entity was uh, a construct of legislation. It was set up to uh, introduce smart metering and to be responsible for it and the conduct of, of the uh, central database which is going to be the hub of smart metering in the province. Uh, the IESO has got no experience in this area or had no experience in this area. Um, we actually operate the power system and we run the wholesale market. The MDMR is the Meter Data Management and Repository. It is a central system that provides a key service to local distribution companies across the province, collecting meter reads on a daily basis, performing key functions such as validation estimation, and framing them into billing quantities for billing. It is integral to their meter to bill process, but at the same time, we are providing as a, think of it as a MDM meter data management in the cloud. I think um, the main benefits that Energy IP brings in the context of this central offering is I think it offers cost savings uh, in terms of uh, not repeating the system over a number of uh, distribution companies. I think for the smaller distribution companies it brings them a level of sophistication and security that they couldn't otherwise enjoy. Um, we've got quite, uh, quite robust uh, disaster recovery arrangements in place. Um, there are all sorts of operational aspects of a system like this that the distribution companies simply don't have to worry about. In Ontario, what makes it a unique jurisdiction is that the implementation of time of use and the implementation of smart meters has been mandated. So. We have 76 LDCs, each of them have been assigned when they need to have to transition all their customers on time of use. We have 3 million meters uh, enrolled in the MDMR, over 2 million consumers on time of use today, and we have 31 local distribution companies on the MDMR today in production. We're scaling rapidly, adding over two to 300,000 meters a month. By the end of this year, we should have over 60 local distribution companies in the MDMR, over 4 million meters enrolled, and early Q1 to Q2 of next year, the remaining LDCs and meters should be enrolled and consumers transition to time of use. Oh, I think uh, if, uh, if Energy IP had feelings, it would feel insulted to be called a mere database. <laughs> um, it does rather more than that. Um, it does tremendous uh, VEE processing at the front end. Um, it, it looks after this data forever, it enables you to change it, um, it keeps uh, track of all the changes you make. It really is a very uh, complex beast um, and I think, we, I think in Ontario we probably exploit most of that, that complexity. To help LDCs comply with Measurement Canada requirements, we are working very closely with eMeter to implement changes to the MDMR. And and that allows us to solve the problem once, and as opposed to having 76 LDCs implement 76 different solutions. Our main focus on the program right now is to transition consumers onto time of use billing across the province. That's our main objective. Our, our second objective is to help local distribution companies provide additional information on the invoices to consumers to help comply with, uh, with Measurement Canada regulations and requirements. In terms of stability, the application has proved to be quite robust in operation, uh, especially since release 6.3, uh, which for us was a, was a breakthrough release. Um, it was also the release where most of the, uh, the, the meters uh, have been added. Um, it's, been, it's been exceptional in terms of stability. So it has leveled and equalized the playing field around sm smart metering functions, smart grid, and provides a foundation for all those LDCs to, uh, to extend uh, and implement their, their smart grid strategies more effectively leveraging the, the MDMR. Yes.